Hello guys, Delta here, and I want to do a... At the moment, I want to do a something very different to this... To my usual gameplay videos. I wanted to do a video, a badminton video. Um, my channel's not really associated with badminton, but... I want to inform you guys on the history of badminton. Um, the reference link will be in the description of the video. Hello, you see my. You won't see my face in this video, unfortunately, because it's it's very difficult. Um, but I want to show you the history of badminton. Do I play badminton? Yes, I do. I know a few people that. Um, I know a few people that play Babinson, um, one being my friend Swift Babinson, he was live yesterday at Wimbledon, um, so, <clears throat> according to this, Babinson is a racket sport that's played used by rackets to hit a shuttlecock across a net. Although it be, may be played in larger teams, the most common forms of, of the game is singles with one player per side or doubles, two players per side. So singles as in like one versus one and doubles as in 2v2. Uh, badminton is often played as a casual outdoor activity in a yard on a beach. Or on a beach. Or in a campsite. Have I... The reason why I said this. When I said something about a campsite. I said yes. Because I've actually played badminton on a campsite. Um, I want to... For this for this bit that I'm going to tell you about. Um, I want to give a shout out to Badminton England. Um, because... Without them, I wouldn't be able to play badminton um, because they've, I don't know, it's quite hard to say, but they provided the um, badminton set that I, um, I usually use when I'm outside. Um... So, and then it says, uh, points are scored by striking the shuttle with the racket and landing it within the other, the other team's half of the court. Um, this happens in doubles, singles, and, uh, half court singles is, um, uh, left v left. Or right versus right, so it depends on. So the points are in singles. Uh, you start with the. I might be wrong, but you you start on the left of the of the court. Your opponents on the same side. Um. Then you have to move. You have to move forward and backwards, not side to side. That's only in full court singles, but. Um, Again, it's really it's really difficult to say. Um, so let's go into the history of badminton. Games employing shuttlecocks have been played as for centuries across Eurasia, but the modern game of badminton developed in the mid nineteenth century among the ex expatriate officers of the British India as a variant of the er earlier game of shuttle door, battle door and shuttle sh shuttlecock battle door was a an older term for racket its exact origin remains obscure the name derives from the Duke of ba Butte Fort Badminton House in Gloucestershire. 
but why or when remains unclear. As early as 1860, a London toy dealer named Isaac Spratt published the a bu booklet include um, entitled Badminton Battle Door, a new game, but no copy is known to have su survived. <clears throat> An 1863 article of in the Cornhill magazine describes badminton as battle door and shuttlecock played with sides across a string suspended some five feet from the ground. The game originally developed in India among the British expert traits again if i mess up on some words i apologize where it was very popular by the 1870s ball badminton a form of the game played with a wall ball instead of a shuttlecock was being played in the fun fun Java as early in the as the eighteen fifties and was the first played in interchangeably with bad, with Babington by the British a woollen ball being preferred in windy and wet weather or wet weather as the windy so the ball's basically stopping the wind like going in the right the right direction <clears throat> um there's quite a lot of information i will put the um, i put this i'll put the stuff the article the whole thing um in the description if you want to read further um i won't read every single um part but feel free to read click the link and feel free to read uh so the rules there's a few so there's a few things that you can do in the in uh when it comes to serving um and there's a few things that you can't do while you're serving so when the server serves, the shuttle must be will must pass over the short service line on the opponent's court or it will count as a fault. Um so there's a, a quite a few serves that can be played in Babington, most common being the high serve, low serve, um, what else, the, don't know if the backhand net serve is a thing, but I have to, con I have to ask my coach about that. <clears throat> so there's a, so again, it says here that, at the start of the rally, the, sh the server and receiver stand in direct diagonally opposite side service courts. The server hits the shuttlecock so it would land in the receiver's service court. It is similar to tennis, except in a badminton serve, the whole shuttle must be below 1.5. One five meters from the surface of the court at the instant instant of being hit by the reset the server's racket, the shuttlecock is not allowed to bounce. The shuttlecock is not allowed to be to bounce, and in badminton the players stand inside their service courts, unlike tennis. In here it says scoring. In scoring, each game is played in uh, to 
21 points. When with players scoring a point, whether whenever they win a rally, regardless of whether they served, this differs, differs from an old system where players could only win a point on their serve and each game will be played to 15 points. A match is the best of three games. If the score ties 20-20 or 20-all, so this is... That's actually happened. So 20-all would probably be like a, seven, a sudden death. So somebody will be playing a... Uh, it will be like a, um, a sudden death. Um, so, so scored, uh, then the game continues until one side has gained a two point lead, such as 24 22, except they are they there is a tie at 29 all, in which the game goes into a golden point of 30. Whoever scores the point, this point wins the game. Um, let's. Let's talk about let's. If a let is called, so this, I'm going to tell you straight, this one, this this word let, I was, I heard about this word, I wasn't too sure what it actually means. If you guys do play badminton and you don't know what a let is, I would recommend to ask your coach. Um, if a let is called, the rally is stopped and re and replayed with no change to the score. Let's only may recur occur because of some unexpected disturb disturbance, such as a shuttle landing on the court having been hit there by a player playing in adjacent courts or in small halls. The shuttle may touch the overhead rail. That can be classed as a let. <clears throat> if the receiver is not ready when the service is delivered, the sh a let shall be called. Yet, if the receiver attempts to return the shuttlecock, the receiver shall be judged to be have be to have been ready. Um, so like they also when it comes to shuttles, they have they have like feathers. Apparently, they use the left the left wing of a goose, and then there's the plastic ones that don't really fly well in outdoor bath badminton. I do recommend. I I like to play with these kind of shot these kind of shuttles. Strokes. There's a lot of strokes in uh, in badminton. Vertical spins, other factors, slicing, and there's strand. Uh, well, there's two. There's a couple. There's singles, half court singles, full court singles, doubles, mixed doubles, men's doubles, and women's doubles. Again, there's a lot, a lot of things. The comparisons about with tennis as well. Well, it's a lot of information about badminton. I do recommend you guys reading it if you are interested. Presence in Olympics. It was an Olympic sport. It became an Olympic sport back in 1992. And it's been an Olympic sport ever since. World Games, it was in 1981. So, I really wanted to do this kind of video. Because 
I thought you guys would be interested. I really want to shout out. I want to give a few shout outs. I want to give a shout out to the following people. Badminton England. Swift Badminton. And Josh DeCruz, my friends. Um, so please do, please do consider subscribing to them. And also please do subscribe to Wimbledon Rackets Center, uh, ra Wimbledon Rackets and Fit and Fitness Center. They also have a YouTube channel, and I recommend subscribing to them as well. So, thank you very much for watching this badminton-related video. I don't know how many views it will get, but it will get some kind of views. But you know what I mean. So anyway, um, what is so I've. Before I end this video, I want to tell you the, so I want to do a, a little extra of this video and I want to tell you about the speed of a shuttle. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, just having a look if there's anything to do with the speed of the shuttle. Um, some of them are, so it depends on like your serve and stuff. Uh, let's have a look. Like there's branded ones as well. So the goose, so there's goose feather shuttlecocks, nylon hybrids. So the speed chart, so it says that there's some that are 74, 75, 76, and 77, and 78. So slow, somehow slower, average, quite fast, fast. There are, how many feathers are there in a shuttle? There's up to, so modern day sh sh shuttles that are mostly used in tournaments can contain up to 14 to 16 feathers, tightly glued and then inserted in the flat, flat side of the cork. The process of manufacturing shuttlecocks are, is as under First, collect feathers, appropriate size, wash them properly and dry. But the thing is, you have to care with you have to care about them the the shuttles because they dam they can get damaged very easily. So yeah, that's a little extra for you guys. And I do hope, I really hope you enjoy this video. I don't know if I will be doing any videos about me, of me playing badminton, obviously. But I want to do, I wanted to do this kind of video to see how well it will do. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching. This is Delta's Rage 97 signing off. Peace.